so welcome back guys this is section 4.7 and here we are going to solve question 31 here okay so this is question 31 in which we have to develop a truth table for each of the following standard SOP expressions okay. so each of the expression is written here and what we have to do we have to draw a truth table for each of them okay so here the part a we have and in part a we have a b c plus a complement b complement c plus a b c complement okay so we have this expression and for it we have to develop the truth table so what are the steps so instead of uh, writing all the combinations in all the variables in it and then finding the output what we can do first of all let me write the domain of it so domain of it is what so domain of my expression is a b c okay and after finding the domain what we have to do we have to write the binary values for each of the terms here so the binary values for each of the term here is what so first we have here a b c okay so the binary value for a b c is what that is one 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 okay uh, similarly here we have a complement b complement and c for it the binary value is what that is zero zero one and for the last part this one the product here is composed of a b and c complement so here the binary number is one one zero okay so these are the binary values for each of the term here this is for a b c okay this is for a complement b complement c and this is for a b c complement okay so after it what we have to do we have to write all the combinations of the variables which are in the domain of uh, my problem here so to write all the combinations what we have to do let me write here a b c these are the three variables and after it we have to write the output for them okay so this is the output and for it we have Three variables in the domain of it okay so let me write the values for them so i will have zero 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 one zero one zero and zero one one okay similarly one zero zero one zero one okay let me move down somehow one one zero and at the end one 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 okay uh, so here we can see that these are the values which we have for all the combinations of my domain variables which are a b and c okay so for it we already know that for the standard sum of product form we have different combinations which are here one 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 0, 0, 001 and 110 okay so what are those combinations and where are these these are let me denote them with this blue color these are here okay and 0, 0, 001 is here okay and 110 is that is here okay so in order to draw the truth table for them and uh, putting all these values 0, 0, 0 into the expression which is given here what we can do we have the binary values on for them what i have to do i have to write the values of one for them okay one 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 because these are the only binary values which this expression is composed of and after it for all the other values i should have to write zero 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 and zero okay so this is what this is basically the truth table for my expression which is in part a of question 31 okay uh, similarly for part b of my quests and what i have i have x prime y prime z prime okay given here x prime y z prime x y prime z x prime y z and x y z prime okay so let me write the domain for it 
so domain of it is what that is x y and z okay the three variables which are already available here and the second part is to write the binary values okay so to write the binary values here we have the first part that is x prime y prime z prime so the binary value for it will be 0 0 0 and this is for x prime y prime z prime the first one and for second one we have x prime y z prime so here i will have 0 1 0 so that the product of it will give me what 1 so it is what x prime y z prime and here we have x y prime z so that would be 1 0 and 1 and it is for x y prime z okay x the this one the fourth one is x prime y z so that would be 0 1 1 and here it would be it is what that is x y z and the last one here is x y z prime so here it would be 1 1 0 which is x y z prime okay so this is the expression which i have here and for it i have to draw the truth table and uh, in truth table what i have to write let me move down somehow so in truth table i have to write the domain variables here which are x y z and here i have to write the output for them okay so this is what this is x y z and this is the output so let me write all the possible combinations of the domain variables so here i will have 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and the last one is 1 1 1 okay so uh, we can see that we have different values which are here 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 and 1 1 0 okay so what we have to do let me write them here so this is 0 0 0 0 1 1 is here 1 0 1 is here okay 0 1 1 is here and 1 1 0 is okay uh, 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay uh, 0 1 1 0 1 1 is also here and 1 1 0 so these are the values and for them I have to write 1 1 1 and 1 and for all others I have to write zeros here okay so this is what this is the truth table for my expression which is already given and that is the resultant truth table which I have generated from the standard SOP form ok. So, uh, that is it for today in which we have discussed how to dis describe or draw a truth table from the given standard SOP expression and hope I hope it is understandable and uh, with some more examples with some more questions I will see you in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon.